Time now for perspective. Over the past days, Israeli ground troops have pushed deeper and deeper into Gaza in their war against Hamas, with a growing array of units joining the effort. But does what we're seeing in Gaza right now constitute an invasion proper? Well, to talk military tactics today, I'm joined on set by our guest, General uh, Vincent Desportes. Um, you are a, uh, a senior lecturer at the, uh, uh, in strategy sorry, at uh, Sciences Po University, also at the HEC uh, Business School. Uh, you're also a former director of France's École de Guerre, or School of War. Thank you very much for joining us on France 24 today. Now, from a very early stage in this war, Israel was talking about its ground offensive. That mm. offensive has begun, but it's not the massive ground invasion that many were expecting. Why is that? Because nobody expected. The, the people who know how war is, uh, is going on, nobody expected a, a huge, a huge invasion, you know. Everybody was thinking about the overload operation in uh, June 6 in uh, Normandy. No. Israel knows that uh, he's entering a trap a trap prepared by Hamas for years and years. So uh, Israel must be very, very careful uh, in uh, uh, the way he's going to, 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 to make his uh, invasion. And we saw yesterday uh, people uh, coming behind the Australian troops and fighting them from behind, you know. So they, they, they have to, to, to advance and to secure everything very slowly. What the Hamas is expecting? The Hamas is not expecting to kill one or two soldiers, or yesterday nine of Australian soldiers. She expects to make a huge battle with a, 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 a huge amount of blood on the ground uh, from, from the uh, Israeli soldiers in order to, to provoke a shock, like uh, the Dien Bien Phu battle, for example, for France, to, to, in order to have all the Australian population saying, OK, it's time to stop. It's too costly now to, to, uh, to, go, on, to, to go forward. And in the past hour or so, the Israeli army has said that it's hit 11,000 targets, Hamas targets, in the course of the past three and a half weeks. That seems an extraordinarily high figure, considering the size of the Gaza Strip. Exactly. This is one of the main issues for the uh, Australian uh, government. It is the issue of proportionality, you know. And if, if the, the strike, if the war is too bloody for the, uh, for the uh, Gazawi, the, the population of the, of, of the Gaza Strip, you know, the uh, international uh, public opinion is going to, to rise up and to say, you have to stop. And the Australian strategist has to understand that they have two enemies, in fact. Uh, tactical enemy that is a Hamas uh, terrorist, you know, and the strategic enemy is the uh, public opinion. Who can oblige them to stop? It is the opinion of everybody, even from the Occident. We are the allies of Israel, and we are, and, and we, we, we are with them. We back them, obviously. But we, we, can't, we can't control the way they, they make war. And at a certain point, maybe the, 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 even the Occidental population could say, OK, that's enough, that's enough. And behind the Occidental population, because we are democracies, you, 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 you have the elected guy who governs us, you know. So he, he must understand that he has to balance the tactical effect and the, uh, and the strategic, strategic product of, uh, of the war. It is a real trap, a trap that obviously the Hamas knew perfectly. And it is exactly the trap, the trap in which he, he, he pulls he pull the Australian military. You've talked about Western public opinion being um, something that Israel absolutely has to contend with. Do you have any idea about a timeline? Do you have an idea about when that moment might come that Israel finds that Western support is no longer behind Israel? All all depends of what uh, the, the way is, uh, is the, uh, the, the um, Tsar is going to, to wage this war, you know. All depends. That's uh, the reason why I think, and I tell on, uh, on the TV, that um, Israel must show humanity, you know, to, to explain that they are not like the Hamas. They do war because they have the... the, the uh, it, they, they can go to war. They, they have the right to do so to defend themselves. But at the same time, they understand that one uh, very important pillar of, uh, of the, the law 
in war is proportionality. They can't do exactly what they want without taking account in, in, uh, the, the, uh, of, of the uh, uh, civilian population. For many reasons. The short-term reason is that they, they need to maintain the, uh, the support of the occidental uh, opinion, you know. And there is a long-term objective, you know. They, a, a war, you never uh, go to war just to go to war, to kill. You, you need to understand that you go to war to produce a new political situation from which can emerge a, a political, uh, a political uh, situation that enable uh, peace to, to, to be established and to stay for, for, uh, for a long time, you know. It, there will be no peace in this uh, area of the world if there is no... Uh, no peace and no liberty for the Palestinian uh, population. So uh, the Australian government must have the two, the, these two objectives in, in, their, in their head when they uh, wage this war. And the, the issue is now that uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Mr Netanyahu, is, uh, is not by far the best uh, leader that Israel can imagine for, for, for himself. Because uh, Netanyahu has a lot of things to, to, to do to, to uh, you know, what happened on the 7th of October. Uh, uh, he's in, in, he was in charge of the military, of the, uh, of the uh, intelligence uh, services and so on. And it was a big failure of that. And he, he has been 15 years in power. So obviously, a part of this responsibility and a great part of responsibility is on his uh, shoulders. And, and the I'm other sorry, point... I'm just going to, to come in there. I'd like to talk one last point about the situation in Gaza right now. We know um, that there is a second complete communications blackout in Gaza on the ground right now. Could you just take us through what Israel's strategy is there today? To, to, today, we, uh, first, to go slowly, we understand, uh, they need to, uh, to clean up the, uh, the different parts of the, of the Gaza Strip step by step. We, we understand now that they want to take, uh, to, 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 uh, to, to clean the northern part of the Gaza Strip, from the north to the Wadi Gaza River that cut this uh, strip in two parts. First they do so, after that they surely will go more in the south and more in the south to, to Egypt, step by step. That's the reason why this war will be a very long one. And that's the reason why they need to be very careful to maintain, to maintain, to protect the, uh, the capacity, the moral capacity of Occidental opinion to back them. General Vincent Desportes, Professor of Strategy at Sciences Po University, also at the HEC Business School. Thank you very much for taking the time to uh, share your insights with us at Fox 24 today. Thank you.